not to sound <clears throat> chauvinist, but to uh, to have been a man in the days of kings and queens and knights and lords and ladies. Oh man, you can definitely tell if our history is uh, anything. Men will dominate and do whatever they want to because humans I think are the only one where the men are the, the um, strong and dominant ones you know because you have uh, lions yeah you've got the main lion who's in charge but who does everything the woman has pretty much always ruled because she had to be there to teach her man, take care of him, often make him decide, you know, but anyways, I've been watching, I just finished up the first season of Game of Thrones, you're just watching like back-to-back -back episodes for the rest I didn't realize there was only 10 episodes. I was like, shit, when it was done. But it's pretty, pretty good. And, uh... You know, moving on to, uh... Season 2. At some point. Can't see. So the downside of this car is some lights. I just... I'd get low to see. It doesn't help that there's a sun in the way either. I don't like this being out during the daylight thing. It's unnatural. I am headed to the mall. Yeah, I'm gonna go just walk around. I need to go do some grocery shopping too, but I don't feel like going right now. I need to get out of the house though, because I've been in, been in there all day watching Game of Thrones. It's like what two hours, hour and a half per episode or something like that. And it's it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to move on to the books next. Whoa! Looks like there's a Kroger right here. I think I'll wait and go to Aldi. I hope I have my wallet. That would be awesome. Please don't run out in the street, sir. I would not like to hit thee. To keep my car as clean as possible. If your brains and bloodlets that uh, we have, the better. Sometimes I wish I wasn't so thoughtful. Or responsible. Responsible is the word I'm looking for. Why did I have to be the responsible one? Why couldn't I have been the asshole? Bastard cliche man. I hope that my kids get older, they don't make the same mistakes. I think that's the general idea, or general thought for most parents is don't make my son or daughter or children repeat the same mistakes as I did. Don't let them grow up like me. I think that's why I want Allison and Jeremy to, and Joey to all learn an instrument to, to 
be praised to know that they are important. And if my parents did that, I'm not saying that that they didn't, but it's just the things we have to worry about in today's society. We'll teach them the lessons now so they don't have to learn them the hard way. I think I will admit this. One thing that I've learned that I, that I like about the whole idea of vlogging myself or just doing a video of myself every day is the fact that I'm no longer weirded out by the sound of my own voice. You know, a lot of people when they hear themselves like, oh, we'll sound like that. Well, I've gotten to understand how my voice sounds and... Whereas it used to be almost embarrassing, it doesn't bother me at all anymore. I think one of the one of the things that I'm learning from this whole thing is how to use my voice. Uh, you know, if I'm going to be a teacher, uh, I need to be able to use my voice and understand how I sound. So it's a very useful thing. It is. It's my favorite picture of my son. That was at his aunt's wedding. If I'm not mistaken, he is staring out the window watching his aunt and uncle take pictures. And if I recall the time properly, Allison was out there making her presence known. She has to be in all the pictures. But that's my favorite picture of Jeremy. Of all the pictures I have, of all the ones I try to take, that's my favorite one. 